Welcome back to WBNN Channel 9 News. I'm Abby. And I'm Chandler. And the national date today is Thursday. What? That doesn't make any sense. I know. There isn't a good national day today. Well, now for news. Next Friday, January 25th, the MJHS Choir Department will be hosting the MJHS Coffee House from 6.30 to 8.30 in the cafeteria. All students performing in the Choir Coffee House need to schedule a time with Ms. Elliott before Thursday, January 24th, during RTI. The ASVAB test will be given here on January 23rd. If you are not sure what you want to do after high school and need more direction, sign up in guidance to take the ASVAB. There is no cost to take the test, and it is open to all sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Tomorrow is the last day to sign up for the test, so make sure you do that if you're interested. Here's a video with some more information. I am Sergeant Janie Michelson. I am in the U.S. Army, and I'm currently a recruiter here for Wilson County. I am Sergeant Robinson. I am here with the U.S. Army also, um, recruiting for Mount Julia High School, and uh, we're here to talk about the ASVAB. What is the ASVAB? All right, the ASVAB is the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery Test. Uh, it measures a wide range of different activities and occupations that people might be interested in. Anyone who is currently in their sophomore, junior, or senior year should take this. Um, if anybody is looking to do a degree after high school but unsure, this is a really good way to kind of hone in on a degree that you may not have th thought of before or a career field that you'd never known that you were interested in. For anyone who is looking at doing military service, this is a requirement for military service, so you would already have that part of the test knocked out. It, it is, is free. free. <laughs> well, that's our favorite part, completely free test. Um, and uh, you'll get the results back in roughly one month. The results tell you what degree paths you can go into, what occupations you can go into. Um, and it will be taken here at Mount Juliet High on January 23rd. Uh, at about 8.15 in the morning. It's a time test. It'll take roughly three hours for everyone to complete. Uh, Sign-ups are currently going on from now until January 18th at the guidance counselor's office. Coming home nominations are continuing today during lunches, and voting for the nominees will be tomorrow during lunches. Also, don't forget, next week is a, a dress down week due to coming home. Monday's theme is no school. Tuesday is PJ day. Wednesday is fancy day, so dress your best. Thursday is decades day, and Friday is black and gold. Now, here's Ms. Holloway and Ms. Judkins discussing the Volunteer State Book Awards. Hi, I'm Ms. Holloway in the Media Center. And I'm Ms. Judkins in A112. And we're here to talk to you today about the Volunteer State Book Awards. There are 20 books nominated for the high school level and they're all available for checkout in your library. If you're interested in voting, all you have to do is read three books before spring break and then see Ms. Holloway for more information on voting. This is Written in the Stars by Aisha Saeed. Nyla's conservative immigrant parents have always said the same thing. She may choose what to study, how to wear her hair, and what to be when she grows up, but they will choose her husband. And until then, dating, even friendship with a boy, is forbidden. When Nyla breaks the rule by falling in love with Saif, her parents are livid. Convinced she has forgotten who she truly is, they travel to Pakistan to visit relatives and explore their roots. But Nyla's vacation turns into a nightmare when she learns that plans have changed. Her parents have found her a husband, and they want her to marry him now. Despite her greatest efforts, Nyla is aghast to find herself cut off from everything and everyone she once knew. Her only hope of escape is Saif, if he can find her before it's too late. This is The Shadow Queen by C.J. Redwine, a New York Times best-selling dark epic fantasy inspired by the tale of Snow White from C.J. Redwine, the author of the Defiance series. This breathtakingly romantic, action-packed fantasy is perfect for fans of Cinder and A Court of Thorns and Roses. Hey, and if you love to read, you should join Literary Alliance. Our next meeting is at 3.30 on February 6th in the Media Center. See me or Miss Holloway for more information. Well, that's all for news today. I'm Abby. And I'm Chandler. And here at WBNN Channel 9 News, we're in touch. So you're in touch. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day, MJ. <laughs> I was thrown off by like all like the coming home. <laughs>